So I'm going to show you how you can make an extra $100,000 a year in your business by turning your website into an AI brain using this really cool piece of software, chatiq.ai, which is linked down below. So this is a traditional setup for your website. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to make sure that you're optimizing the traffic that's coming in and you're making as much money as possible with a very simple AI automation. Uh, and it all comes down to creating an AI brain for your website. So very, very quickly, this is what your marketing looks like at the moment for a very poorly set up business. You're just pumping in traffic from all sorts of social media channels. You're getting all of that traffic onto your website. And then there is a whole load of it, which is being ignored. Now, what happens here is you've got people who come into your website and they have questions that you're not answering those questions. So you ignore them, right? You've got people coming in who shop around. You ignore them. People who add to cart. They don't buy, so you ignore them. And then finally, right, you get some people who come into your website and they shop around a bit and they're very interested. And in fact, they do buy. But once they've bought, you then ignore them because at the end of the day, once they've paid you the money that you need or the money that you're expecting from that customer, then you're happy. You have achieved what you set out to achieve. But unfortunately, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. What you really should be doing is dealing with all of these problems and trying to convert all of these into actual paying customers. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So basically what happens now is we are gathering all this information from our traffic that's coming in. They've all got questions and we find a way to make them buy and create us money. We try to find a way of getting people who shop around to buy. Add to cart people will buy and the people who buy, we want them to come back to the website and then purchase again and create like a never ending loop of income for our business. Because at the end of the day, it's much easier to get people who bought our products to come back and buy again. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this using an AI brain. So you've got two parts to your business. You've got your website where you've got landing pages, blog pages, FAQs and product pages. These are the sorts of things that people who come into your website and have got questions and are shopping around need access to. So what we need to do is we need a way of these people to get access to that information. We've then got the back end of our business, which is training documents, SOPs, video tutorials. Uh, and this is stuff that like our support team will use. And this support team is actually the people. So these people here who add to cart and buy or the people who buy, uh, these are the people who need access to this information. And basically all we're going to do is we're going to make it very easy for these people to get access to the specific information that they need dynamically using an AI brain automated on our website or in our product uh, and then use that information to then get them to come back and purchase. And it's incredibly simple. So like I say, we're going to be using this tool, chatiq.ai, and the, the, the design of this is to basically automate customer support and give good customer satisfaction and basically get access to the data and information that our customers need instantly from our website. So you want to go ahead, click the top link down below in the description. You can start a free trial, play around with the software. Uh, it's $30 a month after that, so it's incredibly cheap and it's made me thousands of dollars uh, in my business using it. So here's what we're going to do. Now this probably looks quite complicated, uh, but trust me, it's actually incredibly simple. So this stuff here, okay, this will make it a bit easier. So we have uh, the customers who come onto our website who have questions, they're shopping around and they're potentially adding to cart, but they're not actually buying. These customers, we want to be able to give them access uh, to an FAQ, instant access to answers to their questions that are uh, hosted on the landing page, on our blog pages, FAQ pages and product pages, right? So they are looking for things on our website. That's why they're not buying, right? So the people who aren't buying, we want them to be able to have access to this information. So we're going to connect an AI brain to these people. Uh, and I'll show you how to do this using chat IQ uh, in a second. Link is obviously down below. Uh, and then we've got these people down here, the people who buy. And again, the people who are adding to cart, they may need support. Maybe they've got a problem with the checkout or their card or whatever. Uh, so these people are going to need to have access to an AI brain that is uh, all about the support stuff. And this is like internal data. Uh, it could also include bits from our website. For example, it could include, I haven't written it down, but like refund policies, for example. Um, yeah, so anyway, whatever, you get the idea, right? So it could include refund policies uh, and all of that sort of stuff. And we're going to give them access to this AI brain. And the theory is, if somebody comes through this flow, let's say they come through from Instagram, they hit our website and they're like, oh, I've got a question. How do I get an answer to that question? Well, instead of now having to go back to the website and read all the pages on the website, they can now just get the answer from this FAQ. 
And if that answer is useful enough, we can then actually get it to supply them with a link to then purchase that product. Uh, and this is basically just using an AI, which is intelligently understanding the emotions of your users, your visitors and your customers and converting that into more money. Uh, if somebody comes through and they've bought and they are you know, having a problem with their product, that would lead them to ask for a refund, for example, or they're having a problem or they've got questions about buying another product, uh, they can just ask an AI brain which has got information on all of the support data, for example, uh, refund policies, shipping conditions, uh, and these like training docs and SOPs are things that your support team would be reading, right? This is information that your support team can read uh, to, to be able to respond to these users. But basically, we're going to give this to an AI brain as well. So we've essentially got two nodes that we add into our business that can give users information. And we do all of this using this piece of software. So if you click the top link down below, uh, start a free trial for chat iq uh, you've got two weeks to try it for free your card won't be charged uh, and basically what it's going to allow you to do is create a system uh, which is basically just an ai chatbot right which can answer users questions it can gather support tickets but it's also a very intelligent uh, system as well and i'll show you how it works so the most important thing that we're looking for to start off with is uh, dealing with uh, well actually let's just start off with these common questions these faqs right so if you come onto my website and we scroll down to the bottom of the website i have these faqs right so these are common questions that people have about my product uh, what it's useful for and how they can use it uh, but you know somebody's got to scroll all the way to the bottom to find this information i've also got on my website uh, a blog and in that blog i actually talk about how my product's useful for different uh, niches and different products and different companies and maybe there is something in there that's going to help them as well so what we're going to do is we're going to gather all the information from our website and for our customers who have questions or are just shopping around the best source of information is everything from our website so we're going to come to our chatbot builder we're going to go to the data feed and we're going to scrape our entire website so it's going to take every single link from our website it's going to find all of the visible text from the website and it's going to use that to create basically a central knowledge base a central brain right uh, so what we're doing here is we're creating this this thing here is our brain uh, and this brain is basically this and we can create well, actually to be fair right we'll put it here because we can create multiple brains this brain can hang on so we've got one brain and this one brain can read everything from our website and it can read everything from our internal data and we can make sure that we are only displaying this data to certain people at certain points. Um, so this is all of the data, this is the brain, right? Uh, we can upload text, PDF files and URLs. Uh, and it's very simple. Once that's done, we can then pick and choose the data that we want and build a chatbot, which is the way for our users to obviously interface with this data. We are all very familiar with chatbots, uh, so I won't go into too much detail into what the chatbot is. But essentially, we can customize the branding of this chatbot. And you can see here, uh, let's just do a new example. Cool. So we're just going to say, uh, what's the pricing, for example, right? This is a question that somebody would have that's come onto the website that's curious about buying the product. Uh, you can see how quickly that information has been gathered, right? So if you were to find that information on my website, you'd have to come down, you have to scroll all the way to the bottom to the pricing section, and you've got to go and visibly search for that information. Whereas now, that information is easily accessible. It also gives me the support information, so I can email support or email uh, if I have any extra questions. So this is basically giving, uh, the brain is now automatically answering this customer question uh, and it, it can dynamically understand where to find that data, right? So this, I know this looks complicated, but basically the brain is doing everything for us. The brain is saying, look, this customer has a question about pricing. Where do I find that information? Probably from the website. Where do I find it on the website? Well, I'm guessing the product page maybe. And it finds that information and it then retrieves that information and it sends it back to that user in a matter of seconds. So now the user doesn't have to go pinging around the entire website to find that information. But it can also continue conversations, right? So for example, now actually let's try an example now where we've got somebody who's added to cart or they've bought and they're looking to buy or they want to cancel their subscription or something like that. Um, what we can do is we can just say, I've actually just written this down. Actually, no, let's do this example, right? So 
somebody, this is a chatbot that's designed for my website and I've got a product and my product is a software. So I need people to understand how to use the software uh, and to be able to understand how to use the software, I need to go ahead and I need to look at some video tutorials, right? As a customer who's already bought. Well, instead of looking at those video tutorials, uh, if it, you know, if it's very hard for me to find that information, I may cancel my subscription, I may leave, I may not use the product. And then as a business, I've lost out on a customer, right? So what if I just ask the chatbot, right? This is the data feed here, by the way, within ChatIQ. So ChatIQ is my own software. I can say, how can I delete my data in my data feed? And it's given me a step-by-step -step guide. It said, head to the data feed selection, select the specific data, open the data info panel, choose the tag and update the tag. You can also delete things. And it's given me a whole host of information on how to actually do things. If, however, there's something wrong with this that isn't useful, you know, if it's missed a step, uh, it's telling me here about tagging data. I can actually update this. Uh, and I can say, you know, step six, um, if you'd like to delete the data, select delete from the bottom, right? Whatever for now, that's fine. Um, and then obviously we can change that to number seven, update the cache. Uh, hang on, um, I'll fix that. But yeah, that's causing the problem there. And we'll get rid of that. And we're going to update the cache. It's then going to make sure the AI is now using this new updated information. Cool. So it's updated that. And you can see the response is now using this new part of the data. So now if I go to the data feed and I click on this, if I open this up, it's talking about this area here where I can update the tag. But I can also delete the data as well if I want to. So you can see how powerful this can be for users to get access to the information they want. And also the amount of money that you're going to save as a business uh, you're giving users a better support system. They're able to understand how to use their product. Your support team is now no longer having to respond to every single email. Uh, but what can happen, right? Let's say, for example, let's go back to the chatbot. Uh, let's just do, can I cancel my subscription? Let's say, for example, somebody wants to cancel the subscription. This is a, a higher priority support ticket. You can see how quickly the chatbot is able to respond to that customer, but it's also understood intelligently understood that this customer now needs help from a human. It can't go ahead and cancel the subscription. It's told them how to do it. They can go to the settings section, manage plan, scroll down and click on cancel subscription, but also they may want to talk to a human. So they can actually submit a support ticket about their account information. And then that support ticket will then come in into the support ticketing area. And it'll come in, let's say here, for example, this user wants to cancel their subscription. I can then click on reply and I can actually generate a response to the support ticket using uh, this AI brain. So it can do a whole host of things and it basically what you want to use it for is completely limitless on your ideas. Uh, we are adding in a feature which is also going to take in lead information as well. So I'll do another video on that if you want to see uh, how to do that. But like I say, the software is linked down below. It's called Chat IQ, uh, and you can basically automate customer service using this tool.